In this video, I'm planning to explain the modulus of a complex number. Firstly, remember what is the modulus of a complex number. The distance between the origin and the complex number, let's say here, if this is A and here this is BI point, and the, here this is the, this point is going to be the complex number Z is equal to A plus bi and the distance between them here the distance is let's say d the distance between them is called modulus of a complex number and we are for using for the complex number absolute value sign or here for the z is equal to z module shows us the distance here here uh, how to find the value we have one right triangle if you can recognize here, the distance here it's equal to A and the distance here it's equal to B. So uh, by the Pythagorean theorem, D squared is equal to uh, A squared plus B squared it should be. Okay, we have to be careful about the distance can must be B, not BI. So D is equal to square root of A squared plus B squared. This implies that Z module or the distance of the point to the origin is equal to square root of A square plus B square, where Z is equal to A plus B I. Okay, so co coefficient squared. With respect to this information, if you find the Module of these expressions, u is equal to 7 plus 24i, and u module it should be equal to square root of 7 squared plus 24 squared it should be, and u it should be equal to square root of 7 squared is equal to 49, 24 squared is equal to 576 it must be module of u is equal to square root of 49 plus 576 is equal to 625 it should be so module of u it should be equal to root of 625 we should know this one it's equal to 25 for the d1 If p is equal to p is equal to one plus three i module of p, it should be equal to square root of one square plus three square here. Module of p equals to one plus nine, and module of p equals to root ten. We don't have integer root for the ten, so. We should leave like this.